here all registered up shitting myself I don't know why I mean it's, it's, I'm hoping to get five hours flying in today from uh, 4 p.m. start and we've got to be down by 9 30 p.m. sunset it's quite gonna be quite a strong headwind anyway I'll, uh, I'll do more talking in the air I'm too nervous to talk Okay, I should be rolling. It's gusty and horrible. The wind is switching from here to here. Oh, I just want to get off the ground. This is the most nervous launch ever. Oh, it's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. Of course, I'm dressed for a night out in the boonies. There's been quite a few people having trouble getting off. Getting up. Oh, I nearly didn't stand up again. No. Come on, baby. Oh, it's too switchy. It's going to end up flying straight into the pylons. Right, not, mate. Yeah. But you knew that. Holy Lord, Tim, when you're watching this. That's a big bag, mate. I'm, I'm sleeping with you tonight. There's going to be room in there for both of us. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get enough height to get over all them vans. And you know what will come back to haunt me then? Your post about hitting campers at yeah. f***ing yeah. lions. Yeah. <laughs> it's strong, it's strong. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Oh, right, let's go flying. Full power here, barely climbing. I got a long way to go. I want to get higher before I trim out. Gusty. Uh, I think this is the worst it's going to be though, so I think that might be. Camera all over the shop. Caught on my lines just before I took off. You probably saw that. I think that's Glastonbury Tour over in the distance there. Eh? I did have plans to go and see it, but 
I've got to, I've got to try and get a long way tonight, so I'm just going to keep a little bit of brakes on. I just want to get height. Woo. Stressful, stressful, stressful. 52 miles. 3 hours 29 at current chat. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm hot. Everything's hot. And it's gusty and horrible. Thermally. I was going to go around and fly through the pylons, but I think one of them had deflated. And uh, I was just happy to be off the ground. I didn't want to chance anything. Oh, I'm going to have to trim out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm getting about 23, 24 miles an hour. Which is terrible, but it could have been worse. And now it's just a better of weight shifting and staying on the line. But I would like a lot more height. Yeah, there's some big hills in the distance. And I want to get over those. So about 15 litres of fuel. A tent. A reserve parachute. Which may well be too big. Uh, all the gubbins required for a night out, should it be required. 222. Two, two. Yeah, I'm an well, I'm getting 25, 26, 27 mile an hour at about 1300, so I think I'm just going to go to 15, set my cruise, and chill. If I have to go up when I get further over there, then I will. Oh, that's going to be a thermal from all these trees, I reckon. Yeah, the original plan was to uh, go and see Glastonbury Tour on the way, it being solstice day as well. Um, but. I was just that happy to get off the ground and I want to go quite a long way tonight. So, I want to do some introduction. For those that don't know what this is, this stupidness, uh, there's a bunch of people called the Adventurists and they're all stupid. And they organise, they call themselves travel agents and they organise stupid things like unsupported going across India on a tuk-tuk or the longest horse race in the world across the desert somewhere or those sort of banger derbies where you buy a car for like 500 quid and drive it a billion miles and one of the things they do is the Icarus Trophy which is a five day paramotor race unsupported, you just, this is the start line, that's the finish line there's a magic button on your GPS tracker, if you push that we'll try and help otherwise, see you at the finish line uh, the first I was aware of the Icarus Trophy was when Tucker did it in America two years ago, I think, or three years ago, no, two years ago. Uh, that was for, uh, all down the sort of left-hand side of America, desert, Arizona way, I don't know. Uh, and it was awesome. And then the year after that, is this year, it was in South Africa. And then next year, I believe it is in Brazil. So that travels around a bit. And this is the X-Series, it's not the trophy, it's a weekend version, two days. And this is the UK one, 240 miles, I've got uh, this roughly triangular course. This is the start point of that farm back there. And then we're across the top here to Exmoor and a checkpoint. I need to land at this checkpoint, uh, get a stamp on a bit of paper and then uh, take off again. Fly all the way down to Prawl Point. Prawl, P-R-A-W-L-E. Prawl Point. Uh, that's just a photo checkpoint. I just need to fly over that, take a photo. And then this one further up the coast. They put this one in to stop us all going over the sea. Not that we were planning to. Well, I wasn't, anyway. Uh, this is another photo turn point. And then all the way up here to the top corner this is a little tiny field, I need to land there and get a key ring out of a box apparently. And then across the top here to the finish line. Now it's 4pm, well, it's got after 4pm now, it's quarter to 6. And I've got to be on the ground by half 9, so there's no way you can do it in one day. I'm just going to try and get as far as I can. I'm trying to get to uh, a place called Widden Down where there's a service station. 
and a hotel and a pub and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but I'm just going to see how it goes. Uh, I, I can sort of. I've got lots of petrol stations marked on my on my uh, PP GPS here. <coughs> so I'm just going to keep an eye on my fuel. Uh, land when I have to. Hopefully next to a petrol station. So there are two classes in this race. There's race class, pretty self-explanatory. They need to bash around as quick as possible, totally unsupported. They're not allowed to travel forward unless they're flying. Uh, if they do travel forward, they've got to get and go back again to where they landed in order to take off. And they're all timed. Adventure class is different. We can have a support crew on the ground with fuel or whatever. We can be supported. I'm doing it unsupported thus far. Uh, but I'm not racing. I'll be just happy to get round. Uh, and it's scary. I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to take off after I've, uh, like tomorrow morning. I've got another stop. I've got uh, at least two long flights to do tomorrow morning. I'm just hoping I can get where I want to go tonight. If not, I've got contingencies, but yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Bristol Channel over there. Never flown down here before. That's nice. The land gets higher over here. I'm going to have to go much higher. Those hills are higher than me at the moment and I'm at 1400. And I guess some of the turbulence I'm feeling is rotor from that maybe. It's an old RAF airfield. Reminds me of uh, the Rapper 40. Still two or three more videos of that to come when I finally get time. Okay, one hour 17 left. Fairly smooth so far. No drama. This is the Quantock Hills, so I'm told by my GPS. Very pretty. No outs. 2,000 feet. I think I'll get a little bit more height as we approach that, and should I engine out, I will look to trim in immediately, 180 degrees, and uh, have the wind blow me back off them. It's a nice afternoon for it. This is the first time I've flown since Wales, three or four weeks ago. That's how little time I've had lately. Yeah, it was very smooth and suddenly got quite rocky, which I assume is this lot. There's plenty of places to land, but it's a long bloody walk out. Okay, three quarters of an hour left to go. 16 miles. I've got like an 11 mile an hour headwind, which is pretty annoying, but slow and steady. Down here on the right is a popular holiday resort, Butlins, Minehead. A few of them have been landing down there. There's a petrol station down there. I can't see any wings on the ground now though, but all the race guys would have been going there to fill up. And ahead of me, this is Exmoor. Uh, like an area of national beauty over here. Uh, looking forward to getting to this checkpoint. Uh, quick turn around there and then heading due south pretty much. At least it'll be a crosswind if nothing else. Uh, it's quarter past seven in the evening now. The sunset's at half nine and that's when the course closes for the day. It's just a long and slow one. And then tomorrow the wind is coming up from the south. So I want to try and, I'm going to fly, have to fly into a headwind tomorrow morning as well. So I want to get to this turn point and just go as far south as I can. Uh, I've got three fuel stops down there that I can land at. I'd like to make it to the third one, but I don't know what sort of speed I'll get. It's just been a long leg, this one, over two hours. I've not seen any other motors. I can see the petrol station down there and the, the bit of land where people would land. And there's no one down there. Okay, I'm deep into Exmoor now. I can see two motors ahead of me. I think they must have taken off just before I got to Minehead. Because just after I turned the camera off, I saw them ahead of me. I'm getting 28 miles an hour now, which is pretty much the best it's been 
18 minutes to the checkpoint. I sent Giles a message asking how he was doing and he just said shit, so I don't know where he is. It looks like I'm going to get there at about just before 8 o'clock. If I can be really quick there and get off again and head south, seven miles. Can't be far. They look like they're headed out to sea, so it must be fairly close. I'm at 2,100 feet and about 400 foot off the ground at the moment. Oh, Giles is saying I'm ahead of him. Don't know how he's done that. Perhaps he had trouble refueling or taking off. There's a lot of sheep here. You can feel the stress levels rising. Gritting my teeth. He wanted to yawn. One mile. Must be able to see it, but I don't know which one it is. Okay, back on the brakes. Hello, old friends. I can see a wind, so I'm pretty much into wind. Okay, let's not bulk this up. Okay, let's have a good one. That's a lot of weight. He's down. Oh, f less than I thought in there. Right, I've got to get some stamp. And that says 13 miles. Crosswind, 30 miles an hour. It's only 13 miles away. It'll be tight. If I run out, I run out. What have we got here? A little box. Okay. The mother of all aerial adventures. This must be the son, the cousin of Beauty. Beautiful. Right, I've got about an hour of fuel. I've got 13 miles to go. That doesn't get me to where I want to go. That's not going to get me to my night stop, but... There he is. Afternoon, Captain. Okay, I haven't got much fuel. I haven't got far to go. I reckon I can make it. If I don't, I'll um, land and have to sort myself out. Believe it or not, that is 35 miles an hour. Okay, we trims out. We got 11.5 miles. Easy. Uh, I'm gonna have to refuel at South Mole and get off the ground again there in lower wind. Wow, well, I really got to keep an eye on course. I'm getting blown off course. That's gonna make this longer. Now oh, this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's quite a strong wind coming that way. I'm crabbing. I'm flying sideways almost. Well, I feel a lot more comfortable now. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know how far I'm going to get. But I'm going to wheel this thing into a petrol station. Fill it up and keep going. 32 miles an hour, which is like a rocket ship compared to that last leg. 10 minutes. Oh, I just panicked on fuel there. I was expecting to have, what, six litres left. And it was like three-ish. 
this is okay. Sun's going down. What time is it now? 8.37. Yeah, I don't know if I'll make it to Southwind or Wind Down, whatever it's called. I might end up camping out on my own. Five miles, I'm guessing it's that town ahead. Okay. This is a bit of a cock up. This is all a new housing estate. This was a, uh, a landing spot and the petrol station is there, you can see it. So I need to land over there and walk all the way down this road to the T-junction, turn right to the petrol station. This is the adventure. Yeah, I'll stay away from the lines, land this side of the rugby. Goals. Oh, I love this wing. Okay. I see the lines in this light, but they go across there. Can't see anything over here. Bit of bumpy. Okay, that's me on final. Okay, we're going to. Oh yeah. Angle. Just get down, just get down. Oh, dawn disaster. Well, I'm going to be camping here because I haven't got time. Okay, I'm down in a town called South Moulton. I wanted to get further. I wanted to land here, um, fuel up and carry on. But the field I was going to land in on the side of town where the petrol station is, is now a housing estate. Thanks Google Maps. Uh, and here's all my gear stashed temporarily. So I'm gonna get on the uh, maps and find out the way out of this place and take my bladder to the fuel station and hope they let me fill it and get some food and drink and then come back here, set up camp. And then tomorrow, whatever way the wind's blowing, I've got a great takeoff area. Uh, it's all good. Walked into town, got about eight litres in my bladder on my back there. Uh, that'll get me down to uh, a petrol station that I can get my motor into and fill it up. I've uh, got some sandwiches and drinks, but then I just spotted a Chinese takeaway. Okay, back at camp, got my Chinese. My gear looks unmolested. Right. I'm going to set up camp and then uh, eat my Chinese. That's better. Okay, little tent. Plenty of room in there. I just need to somehow get the fuel bladder fuel into here. I've got a little bit of tubing, I don't know if that will do it or not. Uh, but the light's fading, so I'm starving though. Well, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm all set up for the night. It is half past ten. Uh, I want to be up by half four. It's going to take a while to pack all this up again, having had no practice. I've got stuff charging. I've sent my messages. I've got eight litres of fuel. That will get me down to another fuel station. Uh, one I can walk into with a paramotor and fill the tank directly. Uh, it's all good. I'm bushed. And I'm going to get some sleep because it's going to be an early morning. So, I'll see you in episode two. <laughs>